All right, let's switch it to high school for a little quarterfinal state matchup. And yep, the heavy favorite Eldorado Eagles taking on the Cibola Cougars. And yep, the 23-day rest for the Eagles was definitely felt in this one. Gentry just couldn't find anybody or a touchdown as it was scoreless most of the first half. But then the Eagles finally get warmed up. Gentry finds Caleb Amberg and he can't handle the heat. Well then, yeah, you got to get out of the kitchen. He has lots of green to work with, no defenders in sight. And Amberg takes this one all the way to the house, put him on the board. Under five minutes left in the half, Eagles up. And yep, the fans are loving it. Then after an onside kick recovery, Gentry turned up the heat again with a nice pass here. And right after this, the very next play, Gentry connects with Jace Jackson in the end zone. Eagles go on to win 21 to 14. They move on to play Rio Rancho next. Yep, through air versus Gentry. Can you dig it? All right, now let's take it to 5A. Centennial hosting Mayamira. And Centennial came out the gates running. Marco Fernandez breaks the middle for the middle of the field. It breaks a tackle. Fernandez is just too fast and too furious as he hits the NOS button and takes it into the point box. Centennial goes on to win big 69 to 20 the final. As you can see, a great pass to Lorenzo Ramirez there. Centennial will go on to face Belen. In round two for these two teams, it will be host. The hosting venue came down to a coin flip, and Centennial won it. The game will be in Crucis. All right, here's some more scores from around the state. Artesia comes in hot off the bye, crushing Piedra Vista. The same with the Rockets. They blast off in the playoffs with a 42-14 win. And oh no, last year's state champs are out. Cardinals lose 20-16. Ouch. And Silver just rolls through a school I'm familiar with. Yep, the Rams of Port Dallas. And you have a couple more from 4A. Cobra beats Bloomfield 34 to 23. And St. Mike's falls to the Warriors 59 to 28. Tough loss for the Horsemen. Rio Doso moves on to play Silver. And finally, an eight man state championship game. It was a shootout. Melrose takes it 76 to 37. Congrats to them.